welcome to Honest Reviews. Today we've got a great smart buy for you. We are going to be testing three different hand vacuums, three very different price points to see which one is the smart buy for your money. Okay, so today's smart buy is a little bit different. Uh, we are looking at three models all within the same brand. So these are Black and Decker Dustbusters, the classic brand. And we have the entry level model, middle of the road, and then the high end model. These range from $30 to like 113. So we're really gonna see, is it worth it to spend that much more on a hand vacuum? Or will the basic model really do enough for you. We're gonna test them, we're gonna be vacuuming up some stuff. I'll also give you all the stats, so let's dig in. Now, as we get started, I am going to tell you one thing that makes this a little less than an absolutely perfect test, and that is this one over here, our high-end model. This is the Black & Decker Pivot Max Dustbuster. Um, this is actually one that we own, it's Rob's Vacuum. You can see it's kind of scratched up, and he's had it for about 18 months or so. So this is not brand new. These two are brand new. Um, so yes, that does change our results a little bit. But one thing that's really interesting that I think that will actually help this test is that when I was looking at this one, there were a lot of complaints about the battery like dying after 18 months or the motor failing or suction losing power or like the runtime dramatically decreasing. So we are actually gonna get a look at one that has been used regularly for an extended period of time here to see if it actually like sticks around or if it just fades right away, which is, seems to be a complaint. All right, so let's get going. Um, here we have our Dust Buster Quick Clean. This one comes in at $29.99 US. As always, you will find links and details in the description. It is a very, very useful place, so make sure you check that out. This one is definitely like the very, very entry-level model, but it's actually the most well-rated across the board. Right now, this has 4.4 out of five stars with 782 reviews, so that's pretty good. Um, it's a very basic little one. You can see there's not a lot to it, but Ergonomically, I find it quite well designed. The button is just in the exact right spot. I'll just turn it on for you. <laughs> Blowing my notes all over the place. One thing about this that is different and is might be a deal breaker for some people is that you can't actually lock it on. You have to be pressing the button and as soon as you let go, it turns off. Um, so you can do like quick little bursts, you know which these ones are more switches. Um, but if you if your hand would get tired holding that on for a long period of time, you might not like that feature. Across the board, these are all bagless. They have a filter in them. The filter is washable. Uh, the like dust bowl where the dust collects is also washable. That's consistent. They all have chargers. They all have indication lights. This one, the indicator light is on the um, charger that goes in the wall, which took me a long time to figure out. Uh, these ones, it's on the actual vacuum itself, but like basically they all have those same um, features, but there's a few things that are a little bit different. So this one has a crevice tool, which they all have. Um, so basically it just extends like this to kind of get into those little nooks and crannies. This one also has a detachable little brush. That's the little detachable brush. Um, and you kind of, from what I saw, people generally think you should just leave it on. But one thing I will say is this like extendable tool you can see here, it's quite difficult to get on like in and out. It has a lock, which just means you just have to press here to close it. But I find that hard and I'm always kind of worried that I'm gonna hurt myself. Um, so it's not like smooth, it's it's kind of a pain. And then in terms of emptying, that's another thing where these differ. You press this empty button, okay? So this comes off. Now you have to take the filter out and then dump it out. So you actually have to touch this filter, you have to take it out, uh, which is not the same with the other one. So it's like a little bit of extra work, a little bit messier. Uh, but otherwise, those are the features of this. This one is eight volts, uh, which is pretty small compared to the other two 
This one is 16 volts and this one is 20 volts. So that's just gonna like affect how much suction power they actually have. Um, but it is a lithium battery here. They're all lithium batteries, they're all rechargeable. But this one definitely has less power. Uh, the capacity is 11 ounces. This capacity is 20 ounces. So 11 ounces, 20 ounces. This has a lot more capacity before you have to empty it. And then this one is 15 ounces. So this one actually has the most capacity. This one's a little bit lower. This one's the smallest, but this one is lighter. This is very light. This comes in at 1.4 pounds. This one is 2.6 pounds. And then this one over here is three pounds. So this one is very heavy. This one is very light. So if you want something very, very simple, very light, very easy, this might be the one, but we're still gonna test how it actually does picking stuff up. Really quickly, I'm gonna go through like the little features of these two before we test them. This one is the Dust Buster Advanced Clean, comes in at $41. This one has the extendable thing here and you can see that like comes out much much easier and then the lock you just press in it's just like the plastic moves up there's no real lock um, but you press it in and it goes back in and that's much easier i don't feel like i'm gonna hurt myself uh, it has a built-in flip out little brush i'll show you that again flip out brush like that uh, but one thing that's different is that if you're using that little extender the brush isn't on the end of it uh, whereas the cheap one actually, because the brush stays on the end, it's on there. I don't know if that's important to you, but that is a difference that was interesting. But this way you don't have to keep that around. This one is, you know, kind of nicely balanced when you're holding it. And it has that on switch that just stays on. One thing I did find when I was just kind of holding it is that my hand kind of moves up here while I'm holding it, but then I can't reach that switch. Um, whereas this one, the switch is always exactly in the right place for your thumb. Just a small little detail I noticed. In terms of emptying, that's one thing I like about this one is that you take this off and then this is where the dust is and you just empty it like that. And you don't actually have to touch the filter, but if you want to, you can take this part off. There's a button right here that just says filter so you remember which is helpful because these are I get confused and then the filter comes out it's kind of got this neat protector on it so I think it would be less likely to get ripped um, and then you can wash the filter that way so that in terms of like the design I think that that and the emptying this one definitely has the win and then this is one neat little feature there's a button right here press it and this rotates so, you know, you can kind of rotate that head around um, and get into like weird angles and stuff. So that's useful. This one, before I move on, has 4.2 stars with 23,791 reviews. So it is has way more reviews, very popular, lower stars. This one again was 4.4. Uh, so, you know, some people complain about the battery kind of no longer holding a charge after 18 months. All of these have a two year limited warranty, um, but it sounds like it's kind of hard to actually get that if anything goes wrong. So I wouldn't put a whole lot of stock in that warranty uh, just from what I saw online. All right, finally, we're gonna look at this real quick. This is the, the high end model. This is the Black & Decker Pivot um, Max. I also saw as part of the name, it is 20 volts. So it is very powerful, more than double of the lower one. Um, and the thing that's kind of the feature of this one is that it will, you press this button on the handle and this whole head actually pivots. Um, so you can do all sorts of different, you know, angles, but it also becomes much smaller in terms of storage. And this is how it goes on the charger. I'll show you the chargers real quick, but you can kind of get a sense of, you know, very different sizes between those two in terms of like storing it. So the pivot is kind of one of the big things about this one. It has the little extender on it um, with like a little pressy thing. Same thing, this thing flips out, you know, very similar. 
um, the way that you empty this one, it just opens on the side here and then you can like dump it out. So very similar to this one in that you don't have to take the filter out, but um, the filter is removable and washable. Button over here to do that, pull that out. And so, yeah, 20 volts for this one, which definitely, you can like hear that it is much more powerful uh, than the little one here. This one is 4.1 stars. So actually the lowest rating across the board, and that's with 11,256 reviews uh, at the time. And the big problem that a lot of people had with this one was that the battery didn't seem to hold a charge. So it had a lot of like one star reviews for that reason. Um, so we're gonna test it. This one's been around for a while. So we're gonna see if that battery, you know, can keep up with these ones and actually suck some stuff up. Okay, let's just hear what they sound like real quick. <laughs> Just from, from sound alone, I think you can tell like the difference in power. Before we test, I really quickly just am going to show you the charging bases that they all come with, because um, they're quite different. This is the one that comes with this one. It's wall mountable, uh, but I actually find it, you know, it's a little bit basic um, to get on there, but it, you know, it does the job it's supposed to do and the, indicator light is on here to show you when it's charging it's red when it's done the light just goes off this is the charger for this one here it is a 360 degree charger so it just goes on a flat surface like this and then you put it on and you can put it on in any direction and it charges so that's kind of nice um, in that you're not making sure it's the right way but you know it does take up a lot of space like this um, this is kind of nice that it can go on a wall and uh, yeah, the charging light again is actually on this rather than on here. Okay, so for this one, here's our charger. It goes like this. And then this fella, just like that. Very, very small when this is folded up. Um, it looks nice. Like it actually doesn't really look like a hand vacuum cleaner. Um, this thing has a, a wall mount on it, but this thing is so heavy, I would be a little bit wary to mount that whole situation on the wall, um, but it looks like you can if you want to try. Uh, but yeah, so this one is quite compact, looks nice, and those are the charging situations. All right, finally, let's test these. Let's see how they actually work. And what parent doesn't have this problem in the car, in the house? You know, you go to the park with your kids and then it's just like this. Okay, that's how we're gonna test it. So we've got some, some sand here from the shoe and we're gonna see how each of these do, do with sand on the carpet. All right, so I mean, we've got a shoe full of sand, half a cup of sand uh, for each one. And we are gonna do just a test to see how they all perform, just straight on with the sand. I'm not gonna try to get all the sand, but I am gonna try to see if it can kind of get the stuff that's down into the carpet. Okay, so first up we have our $30 quick clean dust buster with, I'm gonna use the like fabric thing for each one because we're working with fabric. Here we go. <laughs> So I think that did a pretty good job. Like this area is pretty free of sand. I did kind of notice, this is the, um, the back here. I noticed kind of like clouds of dust. I don't know if that was visible, but I can see on the back that there's a bunch of sand dust coming out from the back, or maybe it was from the sides. I'm not sure where it was coming, but I could see puffs of dust coming out, um, which isn't necessarily what you want. It's kind of covered in dust, but 
It did suck up the sand here. I don't know if it sprayed it into the air, but on to the next one. All right, here we go. Um, so you could see, like, I ended up having to kind of shuffle that back up. It didn't pick up the sand. I'm going to try without this on to see if that helps it get closer. So it got closer without that thing on. Um, that might help, I don't know, with pet hair, maybe. Um, but interesting enough here, it did not help. And I would say that it didn't get as much of the sand that's like really the fine stuff that's down here because the bristles on here were able to kind of like push it up. Um, but without the bristles, it's kind of still here. So interesting result. All right, now to the big one, the big guns. So I'm gonna start with the little brush out. So no problem here. It kind of performed great. I don't see any little bits left. Um, I don't notice like a ton of dust all over it, like that came out. It was kind of over here, so I didn't notice, but that one did well. So in the first test, this one was the clear loser and these ones performed the same. Okay, so I finished vacuuming up all the sand with each one and I continued to see puffs of dust coming out of it with this one. Also with this one, just like poof, some dust coming out. This one did not have that happening. Um, and this one has a three stage filtration system, which I do think is actually effective here because it's stopping all of that extra dust from coming through the whole thing and keeping it inside the vacuum. Um, whereas these two, that was not happening. Another thing with these vacuums that is a common complaint is that once you suck something up, it comes back out as you continue to work. So I'm going to show you uh, if that happens with the sand, which I think is a really good test. So here we go. I'm gonna just kind of dump. Not much coming out. Like I see a little, a few grains of sand coming out, but for the most part, it seems to be staying in there. This one. Staying in there as well. Now this one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this just dumped all the sand back out. Just coming right back out. So I'm not sure what is going on there, um, but you know, I don't know if maybe while you're vacuuming that would happen if you kind of walk to a different area and then put it back down to vacuum something else up and then all the sand comes back out. So that's something to know about this one is that you probably don't wanna be you know, if you get a bunch of stuff, you'd have to empty it right away. These ones didn't have that problem. So this little flap in here is very, very, very light. Um, and so this is why that sand was coming back out. It wasn't staying closed when I was kind of giving it a little bit of a shake. All right, now we've got another test here. I wanna see how these do with like big particles on kind of more of a hardwood situation. So we have some dog food, big chunks, heavy, and seeing if they have enough suction to actually like get that um, sucked up. There's also a lot of little dust from the dog food. Smells great in here. So we're gonna see how they do. Start with the quick clean. I am not gonna do the um, brush for these ones. Just do just as is, and here we go. So it definitely shoots a lot of air out. It blew a lot of the dog food um, off the table. So there's a lot of air coming out of here.
but it had no problem sucking all of that up. Um, and now that like it's bigger particles, um, that flap is having an easier time staying closed, so nothing's coming back out. All right, on to the middle one. suck it up. It just like fell back out. Well, that's very surprising. This is not picking up the dog food at all. And on to the last one. Here we go. That one had no problem. That one definitely took it up the easiest. All right, so we did some digging into this one because it definitely something was up. Um, in terms of preventing dirt from coming back out, they all sort of have like flaps. This one has sort of a trap door, hard plastic situation, and it had gotten stuck um, from the sand, I think. And so that's why we were getting a lot less suction. So it needed to be like kind of, um, cleared and opened up and now we're getting more sections. So we'll do this test again here. And now it picks up the dog food as you would expect. Um, but that trap door, the kind of, I'll pull this off here and show you. There's like a little, kind of spot here that's preventing the dirt from coming back out. And uh, it seems like if I do it, you can see it comes down like this, but it had gotten stuck so that it wasn't coming back down. Um, so maybe not a great design choice because these ones, it's more like flexible. It seems like it it's a little easier for it to open and close. Okay, so one last important thing about a hand vacuum is how long the battery will last after you have charged it. You know, how much can you actually get done on a single charge? So I am gonna test how long these will all run until they stop running. Uh, they've all been charged the same amount of time. We've used them roughly the same amount of time this morning. Uh, so we're gonna just run them and see how long they last. <laughs> Okay, so the results of the battery test, this one went down first at about seven and a half minutes. This one followed at around eight minutes. And this one was like eight and a half, nine. It kind of like slowly died. These two just shut off. Remember this one is probably like 18 to two months to two years old. So the battery did still hold up, um, you know, the same as the other two. So that was impressive. This one, you know, that doesn't discount all the people who have had problems with their batteries. It does seem like it's kind of hit or miss whether this one will hold up over time. So now we come to the point we've all been waiting for, which one is the smart buy for your money? Um, and it's a hard choice on this one, but I think for me, the one I would buy would be this one here, the most affordable coming in at $29.99. I like the design, it feels really comfortable to hold. You know, holding down the button isn't such a big deal for me. It's in the right place, it's lightweight. The suction power, there is a measure of suction power, it's called air watts. This one is 15, this one is 15.2, this one is 30. So these two are basically the same in terms of actual suction power and we saw that this one actually did better this one just, you know, it looks nice. The charger is fancy, but I think when it comes down to it, it just didn't perform. 
So this one is affordable. It's the highest rated and I think it's for a good reason. Um, you know, don't shake it around if you're vacuuming sand. It's a bit more of a pain. It lets some dust out. So it's not perfect, but for 30 bucks, you're getting a really decent vacuum. If money is no object, this one definitely is cool. Like it, that filtration really does keep the dust inside. It's easy to empty. It folds down really nicely. It has that power. The battery lasted on this one. For $113, do you wanna take the risk to see if you're gonna get one that lasts? I don't know. If you really need something with a ton of power that like it's gonna be sitting out so you want it to look nice, um, this one is cool. But I think the smart buy is this one which is like almost four times cheaper. But that's just me, and I wanna know which one you would pick. Would you pick the cheap one? Or are you a fancy guy? Let me know in the comments. Also let me know if there's a hand vacuum that you'd like to see us test. I know there's lots more out there, and I would love to find one that does even better than these. So leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Make sure to check the links in the description again so you can see kind of all the details on these. Subscribe for a lot more Smart Buy videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, other features, it has like this. <laughs>